Okay, so again, next move actually. I'm going for the same thing. I'm going for the double. He starts sprawling really bad, both legs. And I can't even get to the double. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a big step and go uh, to my single leg, just like this. He's sprawling nice and tall, my head's on the outside. I'm gonna posture up. Wait, sorry, no worries, no worries. I'm gonna posture up. I'm gonna posture up, right? Head nice and tall. Don't look down, because that's Gil Team City. So we're turning the corner as if we were looking at the opposite shoulder. I'm grabbing this leg and now I'm gonna suck it close as I take a back step and run. Hmm. Just like that. So he's sprawling nice and heavy. I'm gonna make him sit down off of that. Alright? So the double doesn't exist because now both his hips are too far yes. to take a bridge. And all I can and I have all I have is that knee tap lash that I started with. So I'm just gonna connect hands and use that. Alright? So <clears throat> I can't get to the second leg. So big step. That's gonna get you close. If you're tall, you can grab from here. Just make sure that you step close before we run the bike. Just with that inside leg. I'm loading him up with my hips on my back step. It spins like a top. Okay. Just again. Nice and calm. Boom. He starts sprawling. Okay. Big step with our inside leg. Inside leg. We have an outside leg and we have an inside leg. Big step. Connect my hands. Pull. And I'm in a circle as I make him sit down on the ground using my shoulder to make him sit. And then when I land, I'm cupping his knee and I'm, or I'm pulling it to my chest. Same kind of concept as before. I don't want to be landing in any sort of guards that he can sweep me off with. So I really try to control where I land. So I keep the single leg, right? I was here when I took him down and then I just pull up and I sit on his foot. Now he can't use his hook, right? And now I just start moving his hands to start rolling for my other stuff. All right, so again. Can't reach, big step, single leg. Pull him in. Notice how he already starts falling when I start pulling that leg in. Now I need to make him sit down where this leg used to be. This leg was here. I, I removed that. And I'm gonna make him sit where that leg used to be as I take a nice back step with my outside leg. All right. If he tries to go for a chin strap or guillotine, make sure as we're going down, we're shrugging our shoulders and making it really hard to uh, get our chin. So we're getting our chin to our chest and making it very impossible for my partner to even get a grip on my chin. Don't have a loose chin. So as I'm taking it down, I go and I hide my chin. It almost doesn't come through like a shoulder roll. I tuck in that chin so he can't get the grip. That's what he's going to look for when he's going down. Okay? So I'll get on the same leg. Just really Roll out from here. He starts going for the guillotine. He has nothing to grab on. Right? He just slid off yeah. my traps and went to the side of my head mm -hmm. and he fell down. Mm -hmm. Right? It's a game of chicken. Is he going to keep going for that guillotine or is he going to try to get his guard back? You know? Mm -hmm. They'll usually try to get a good guard and try to sweep it back. So again, big step. He sprawls. Close the distance. Inside step big. In between his legs. Okay? Grab the leg, suck it in, circle. Shrug my hand, so I can't get chin strap, pull on the knee and sit on the foot. If you guys like side smashing, I can start rocking his hips. Start going for the head and arm smashing. I can start uh, just bunkering down, going to my knees. All right, if you guys like to pass more tight, mm -hmm. you can really start doing all stuff from there. Sounds good? What's up? Two questions, what's the grip you have when you suck his leg in? And then two, when you get him down, are you pulling his hips off the mat so just so he can't use his hips? Oh, yes. Okay. okay, so for the single leg, can I use it? So, for the single leg, it doesn't really matter how I grip. Sometimes guys have big legs and they're farther away and I can only get my chain grip. If I go chain grip, I gotta pull in extra hard. If I go gable grip, I still have to pull in hard. But if I grab my elbows, I don't have to pull in as much. But this is picture perfect. Sometimes we don't have a lot of time to get here. Sometimes we only have time to get here. Let's make sure that we pull in more. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. okay, the concept is we're just pulling it really tight. And when I do land, yes, I'm pulling his back, his uh, lower left back off the mat. See how you don't have any, yeah. anchor, you don't have any anchor to the mat, so you can't even really Ooh. use it. Yeah, you can't manipulate me at all. Sounds good? Any questions? Yeah, you know, wrap up like the same face on the bike there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's it, bro. Yeah. Don't be scared to go head outside. As long as you turn the corner and turn yeah. your shoulders, and roll yeah, I'm looking through those, taking this close leg. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. still going with the same knee tap back here. Yeah, good. Look good though. Run the bike back step. Yeah, but make sure when we're spinning, shrug our shoulders, shrug our shoulders. Take the chest. Like this, and stay in the knock. I do chin. Yeah, he does. Right, and 
you won't even have the shoulder in there. Yes. So, but I like the shoulder because it really helps you guys sit the long time, you know. But if you want to do that inside chair, put the arm in and just go outside. It works either way. Pulling his hip, one night at the rock spray to make him lean back. Now this is easy. All I gotta do is pull him and take a back step with my leg to make him sit down. Okay, so I'm here. I pull. Even if I didn't have his leg, all I need is the night at the rock spray and the pull and the back step to take him down. Okay, the leg is just a plus. Okay, so right here. Make sure I got my hip grip. I'm actually grabbing the hip bone and pulling his hip to me. Don't let him get far away. So pull him nice and tight. Your shoulder should be glued on his rib cage. Okay, I'm using my head just like this, okay? If you wanna like make sure you got your grips, you can squeeze your knees for a second. I don't recommend it for a long time because you can't move as much. So sometimes you gotta let the arm carry so you can move freely, right? The more I circle and move my feet, the more he has to hop. So that muscle stamina on this leg is already waiting too. So keep that in mind. He's standing on one leg, all right? He's getting tired, all right? So keep that in mind. So I'm grabbing this hip, knight at the Roxbury, taking a back step, and pulling him down. Right here for the drill, we're gonna go nice and slow. I'm gonna keep my underhook, okay? I'm gonna put my head underneath his chin, and I'm gonna start cutting across his body, okay? I'm not even gonna go into his half guard. I'm cutting across his body. If he gets his half guard here, that's fine. I'm still in a great position to knee cut. Think so? Yeah, great. Post, slow it down. Don't worry about doing it fast right now. All right, we'll worry about that later. Now we gotta get all the technique. Head underneath the chin. If you guys just like, don't like doing that kind of movement, you can just start sprawling. Getting your underhooks and start getting uh, around the guard. That works too for all the guys that like to go slow and not really put their knees in weird situations like that. Just sprawl out, keep your underhooks, and uh, really sink into the mat. Stay on our hip, stay on our toes. Keep pressure on the hip. All right, so again, keep our arm up just in case you get too. Freeze for a second, just with the drill. Head underneath, cut across. Try to, if he gets half 